Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'd like to introduce to you today how to remove or replace default title in an alert message box or confirm box using JavaScript and jQuery. As I used before, I'd like always to start by the aim of our project or the end. I will here demonstrate the different forms of message boxes for an alert and confirm before applying our uh, customization and J JavaScript. As we can see here, there are four buttons. Before alert, it gives me the default message box. The problem here is localhost, it always gives the URL, says, and we write our message here. The same applies for before confirm, before applying our JavaScript. The same problem, this is my message. If I press OK, it will go to a certain function, which is an alert here. So, what if I want to remove the default title in both? This is uh, our aim. Let us see, after applying the JavaScript, alert message, how it will be shown. I have given some colors uh, to know that I can change the properties. This is my title, this is my message. This is my customized title here, I write the title I want. And uh, press button for OK, I apply an icon also. As you can see, it, uh, I, I changed the title completely and I can remove it. The same applies for the confirm message. This is my title, this is my message. As you can see, the default title is removed and I apply my own title. If this is what you, and then okay for uh, function I go to. If this is what you want, we can demonstrate the details. The project I have made here is a rather uh, project. We can see it. There is a link in details uh, in the below below the bottom here. To open a rather project which has pages, not a classic MVC, whatever you'd like, uh, the project doesn't matter. But I used a simple Razor project, as here web application that contains Razor pages. And this is the project will be shown like that, pages without uh, controllers or views. Whatever the way we chose, this is not our issue now. In its simplest form, I have made a, uh, a project which has nothing except layout and index and the default uh, of a browser project. What uh, the layout contains here to start our customized alert and confirm box it contains a CSS file, as you can see here, the highlighted bar. It is, uh, I got it from the net. It is called jQuery underscore UI dot CSS, dash, sorry, dash CI, UI dot CSS. This is, uh, this concerns the dialog box I'll use with the alert. Another file for JavaScript, of course, is the jQuery-UI. Also, I obtained it from code.jQuery.com, as you can see here from the highlighted bar. Before going to the JavaScript, I'd like to go to the uh, rather page 
that will access ASP page handler for the four buttons for each button. As you can see, a ASP page handler for an alert, ASP page handler for a confirm, and all for the default ones and for the customized one. I have created four buttons going to for SP page handler found in index.cshtml.cs This is my page model Of course we know page model has get and post and others like delete and push but here I will use get and post only get to retrieve the index and post when I press the button it will go to any of the four functions in my index.cs html file.cs here as you see I only put value for each view data of result one two three four as uh, everyone will go to a different script where is the script written I will return back to the layout the script is written at the end of the layout after using the CSS script I showed you before and the JavaScript it will execute the dollar dot document dollar document dot ready function as you can see here I will test view data result whatever its value each value I'll go to a certain path put it in a variable message if message equal one that is my customized alert box dollar dot extend alert function message and title here I have made extension for an alert to accept also title and I'll do my customized function I will insert div in the page that has dialog dot dialog and put some properties for the dialog customized properties as for open function event UI and this is the closed title bar I want to hide and the buttons I want to insert out to be shown on my dialog box this is text ok I have put an icon for it that has a heart you can remove the icon if you don't like it if you don't need it and the style where uh, ok would be would be in the dialog box would be present here I made it at 95 pixel from right margin resizable false uh, not to resize and it will a title this is the title uh, the customized title I will pass to and I would like you to, to take care of a coming function create function uh, here it contains three blocks as you can see I can only uh, if I don't need the last two blocks I can hide them it is only to to uh, to uh, to make the CSS function as what I need. Here I will change button pane to have background color blue, border null, image null. The same can go for UI dialog. The background the color and UI dialog title bar. This free, these three uh, properties of a dialog can be changed through this function. Close in escape equal false. I be because not to uh, to apply it. If uh, I press escape, it will not function. And here also to remove a close. Uh, button for the title bar then model equal true to be shown as a model form 
and then dot text the message to let the message appear and then dot alert alert this is my customized alert uh, if uh, I would like you to notice that when I open the brackets here it will give me the message and the title not the message the default is the message only but here that both are shown because I have changed my alert to the customized one which is having message and having a title then I return message to zero return false to exit my javascript the main issue here is I use dot dollar dot extend the alert to the customized alert I need this is one of the solutions I found it uh, good and uh, simple the same applies for confirm if message equal to it is the same but here uh, the confirm only accept message I extend it to title and o uh, ok action title will be passed through dot confirm uh, the, the end of a function dot confirm message and title and here ok action is my function this is my title will go to the title and this uh, the function will go to ASP uh, ok action which when applying ok pressing on ok button will go to it will close the dialog and go to the ok action so here I can change the title to the way I want what if I don't need the title I need it to be empty we'll show it for the alert box here I removed the title save in the alert box and then I will refresh the page alert message as you can see here the title has been removed I also wa I want to note about the close button the close button has a certain CSS style sheet I have written in the above layout which you could find the link of a whole project by the end of the video you can download This is uh, the CSS, uh, the style for clo for uh, making the close button uh, not appear, doesn't, uh, don't appear. As you can see here, display equal none for dialog the title bar close. I can disable it like that to let the close button appear if, uh, if I want it to be show save and then refresh alert message here the close button appeared but of course it uh, can be hidden or uh, shown you can write it also in javascript to be hidden or shown as the property i showed you before which is open function event ui title bar dot high if uh, the whole project is found below you can download it and please don't forget to subscribe for other videos and thanks a lot uh, for your time 
I like uh, I wish you have liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you